Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. How was your day? It was okay. Relax. Good, good. That's I the was idea. Resting, but... uh -huh. Well, that's the idea that you rest. Yes, that's right. Good, good. What time do you usually go to sleep? Um, like 11, like 11 o'clock for our mess. Okay, and what time but do when you I, uh -huh. But when I work normal, I, I, go, I go to the bed like 8 or 9 p.m. Okay, so your schedule is a little bit different now. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's All it. right, good. And what time do you wake up? 9 a.m. Yeah, you told me last time. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, welcome back. Today is May the 20th, 20? 2020. Yes, 20th. 20th. 5 2020. All right, mm -hmm. so how was your day, everybody? Samuel, Jennifer, Elizabeth, Emmanuel, Saida. How was your day? Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my day was very uh, quiet because staying home. And I wash the clothes. <laughs> okay. The clothes. Yeah. And I stay on the end and I watch a uh, TV, um, a movie. Okay. What what kind of programs do you like to watch? I like to about the. Uh, Serious, serious TV. Yeah, serious. Yeah, uh, serious about the. Uh, is the name is the blacklist? Is the name the, the, the series I, I, I watch today. Is that English or Spanish? It's in English. In good, English. good. It's about the the the, the F, FBI and something like like that. Okay, good, good. What about the others? Elizabeth, Emmanuel, Jesse. How was your day today? I was, I was, what? Yes, Emmanuel. Talk, talk. talk uh, so, the so. Girl. Who's gonna talk? Uh, I said I work today. Okay. I work today. You work today. How many hours yes. did you work? Saida, mm -hmm. how many hours? Seven, seven hours. Seven hours. What time yes. do you start? At seven o'clock to <laughs> Three? Seven to three. Okay, and, and do you work from your house or do you physically need to go somewhere else? No, I went to my job. All right, and what's the distance from your job to your house? I live in Ilopango and my work is around Estadio Pujatlán. Okay, fine. So you live in Ilopango, the city? Yes. All right, good, good. All right, so welcome back, everybody. 
like I said before, today is May the 20th, 2020. Uh, let's talk about um, the topics that we discussed yesterday. Do you remember what we spoke about yesterday? Models. Okay, past models. That was our last topic. And that's going to be the first topic we're going to start with. Can you refresh my memory and tell me what is the function of a past model sentence? Anybody? What is the function? To talk about past. <laughs> okay, to talk about past. Uh, what exactly do you mean when you say when you talk to talk about past? Actions. Uh huh. Actions that already happened. Yeah. Okay. How do you say me pudiste haber llamado? Uh -huh. The question is for everybody. How do you say me pudiste haber llamado? You can have you could you could have you could call me. Yeah, hey, you could have called me. You call me. Okay, so remember, you use the model. In that case, we're going to use could. We use auxiliary have. And what is the form of the verb? Past participle. Past participle. And remember, that is universal. That is standard. You always use the model plus have. And the form of the verb is always past participle. So uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this to you before, but usually every English book in the back part of the book, there is a list with verbs. You have present, you have past, and you have past participle. Past participle of the verb has different functions and you use them in different forms, including <clears throat> past models. So how do you say, no hubiera comido mucho? Said, oh, I'm really full. No hubiera comido mucho. No hubiera comido tanto. What is, what is the model that we use to give advice? Sure. Good. So how do you say no hubiera comido mucho? I shouldn't have eaten a lot. A lot. Okay. I shouldn't have eaten a lot much. So you said I shouldn't have eaten a lot. Now let's let's think about the opposite. You went to eat lunch, breakfast, whatever, and you're still a little bit hungry. So you speak to yourself and you say, hubiera pedido un sandwich. How do you say that to yourself? Remember, you're, you're advising yourself. You're giving suggestions to yourself. Can you repeat it? Uh, you, you go to a restaurant, a cafeteria, and after you finish eating, you're still a little bit hungry. So you say to yourself, you speak to yourself, and you say, hubiera pedido un sandwich más. I must have. Uh -huh. I should have, let me see, or more. Uh-huh. <laughs> I should have asked for a sandwich. I should have asked for more. I should have. I should have. Now, what is the contraction of um, should have? Should have. What is the contraction of should have? 
We spoke Shoo. about this yesterday. Should have. Should have. Should have. So you said, I. No, not here. Let me see. Where is the chat? Chat is right here. My goodness, I had it. Okay, so you say, I should have. Should. Now, do you see the chat? Uh, yeah. The, the, yeah. The chat is, so I should have asked for more. Like I said, you go to have breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even a snack or something, but you still feel a little bit hungry. So you say to yourself, I should have asked for more. You know, so uh, whenever you study this topic in a class, in an academy, whatever, um, they are, it is usually taught that you should say, I should have asked for more. But remember that people in Canada, the state, they use contractions all the time. And that's one of the reasons why when a native speaker speaks to us, he's using contractions and uh, because we're not used to using contractions, sometimes we might have problems to understand what he's saying. So it is highly recommended that you guys use contraction as well. All right, um, any questions or comments about uh, past model so far? No, no. No. Okay, what was the other topic that we discussed yesterday? Did you take notes yesterday? Yes. Okay, so what was the other topic? We talked about the and the. What, what is it again? Uh, we talk about um, the and the. Okay, D and the, yes, because we were using yeah. comparatives and superlatives. Yeah, and I have, yeah. and I have a question. Yes, Elizabeth. Um, I have an ear that it sounds there when um when it uh when it are from and sounds V um from vowel <laughs> um. Okay. With some exception with the letter with the Greek I, the like okay. from university. Okay. But yeah, I um I talk is like I like the and the, but never the. So please explain me. Yeah. Explain uh, me. Explain to me. Sure. Uh, remember, when whenever you're using the article, I'm going to write it in the chat, T-H-E, it has two uh, possible pronunciations. If the following sound is a consonant, you will say the. Yeah. The. Okay, the. Right. Yeah. The. Now, the real sound, let, let me write it for you too. The real sound is the. The, where's the car? Where's the money? Where's the book? But people, when they talk, they pronounce it like that. So where's the car? Where's the money? Yeah. So uh, okay. the, the two official sounds are the and D. But like I okay. said, people mispronounce it. And instead of saying the, they say the. And, and it's accepted too. It's acceptable. Okay. So just 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 need to remember that if, if the next sound is a consonant, you say the. If the next sound is a vowel, you should say D. Z. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Sure. 
All right, uh, so we were talking about comparatives and superlatives. Are there any questions about that or comments? No. No. No? All right, so let me show you a document. Share screen. Where they... You cannot. Okay. 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 Do you see the document? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Something's wrong with my computer right there. Okay. Pass models. Uh, before we start going in how they work uh, in past tense without reading, what is what is the function of must? It's, uh, mandatory. Mandatory or opinion. Function. Okay. Um, when something is mandatory. Function. Or when you're giving your assumptions, right? When you're giving your opinion about something you are 100% sure, right? Now, what is can't and couldn't? When do you use can and couldn't? Probably. Uh-huh. Possibilities. Right. So what's the difference between can't and couldn't? Can't can is present and could, could is the past. Okay, very past. good. So can't is for present, couldn't is for past. Now, what are the options that we have for all the other tenses? Did you copy this yesterday? No, teacher. Uh-huh. No. Okay. <laughs> Let me send it to you again. My goodness, students. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, able to. In the WhatsApp chat. Able to. Yeah. How do you say no he podido ir? I haven't. I weren't be able to go. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't been I haven't able to go. Able. Yes, yes, I have. Yes. Okay. How do you say podré ir? I will can go. Not exactly. Someone else? I will able to go. I, I can go. I will no? be able to go. I will be able to go. Yes. I will be able to go. All right. Okay. So um, remember, you use the ones we have in the in your in your screen right now. Can't is for present. Couldn't is for past. Any other tense you need to use able to. Now, what about the ones that I'm showing you here right now? Could, may, may not, might have, or might have not. What do they express? Um, possibility. Yes, they express possibilities. They express possibilities. What about should? What's the function of should? It's a suggestion. It's a suggestion? Advice. An advice. advice. Okay, so you, you use should to give suggestions, advice, or recommendation. When do you use shouldn't? In order to give a negative suggestion. Okay, sure. 
um, and the last one that is British, needing have. Okay, so. So let's go with the first one, must have. It says a deduction about something that has happened. Example, if your mobile isn't in your bag, you must have left it in the house. How do you say that one in Spanish? That sentence. Si tu teléfono no está en tu bolso, debiste haberlo dejado en tu casa. Debiste haberlo dejado. So the person given this sentence, he or she is very sure that if the cell phone is not in the person's bag, he's 100% sure that the cell phone is at home. But remember, your deduction doesn't mean that your opinion is true. Deductions can be wrong sometimes. I was giving you the example of the guy driving the BMW or Mercedes-Benz uh, and they um, stop next to you. You said he must have money. That is your deduction. That is your opinion. But your opinion doesn't mean that uh, the information is, is correct. Any questions about must in, in uh, general form? Teacher, I have a question about yes. the verb then of you must have. Uh, yes. Left is it's a verb is in past participle or yes. Uh, left left right here is the past participle of the verb leave. Mm, yes. Leave, left, left. Uh, okay, okay. Uh-huh. So, usted debió haberlo dejado en su casa. You must have left it in the house. Any other questions or comments about must uh, in general or must have in past? No. No? No. Okay, so we said that can't and couldn't is for something that didn't happen in the past. So look at the example that we have. I can have lost my wallet. No pude haber perdido mi cartera. She couldn't have said that. Okay. Ella no pudo haber dicho eso. So whether you're using it in present or in past, if you compare, you use the model, you use have, and the form of the verb is always past participle. How do you say um, Brazil no pudo haber perdido? Brazil couldn't have. Have lost. Exactly. Brazil couldn't have lost. It's like a uh, negation. Yes, in past. In past. So when you say uh, Brazil two, France three. So you think that's impossible? So you say, oh, I think you have the wrong information. Brazil couldn't have lost. So you're giving your opinion about something that you know it's not possible. That is your, your deduction. Now, can, do you guys remember the differences between could, may, and might? Could, may, and might. Do you guys remember the differences? It's like, podría. Uh-huh. May, podría, like a permission. Okay. Could, podría, like, the recommendation, or deberías uh -huh. hacer algo, podría. Uh, okay. And may not, 
Eh, no podrías hacer. Ok. Like, or, um, and like and only that. Me have, I don't know. All right. Anybody else? Thank you, Elizabeth. Anybody else wants to give your opinion? What are the differences between could, may, and might? If you see it, they are in the same square rectangle uh, for a reason. What is the reason? Excuse they me. express possibility. Exactly. The three options, they express possibility. Uh, could is the strongest, then may comes in second place, and the last one is might. So you can perfectly say you could have taken a taxi. Pudiste haber tomado un taxi. Now, if you're waiting for your sister and your sister um, is not at her house anymore, and when you call, they tell you, look, she's not here any longer, you say to yourself, well, she may have taken a taxi, but the possibility is less than could. Now, if the possibilities are very small, then you say to yourself, she might have taken a taxi. She might have taken a taxi. Okay. All right, are, are there any questions there? Don't be afraid to make questions. I, I don't understand, it might. Might, yes. okay. Could, may, and might, the three are possibilities, Elizabeth. The difference is that could is very possible, may is like 50%, and might, we can say that is less than 50. So if you classify them and you want to see which one is the strongest and which one is the weakest, the strongest is good. Then in second place, we have may. And in the last place, we have might. Okay, an example, example with might. Okay, uh, we might have a quiz today. We might have a quiz today, but when you say we might have a quiz today, the person speaking knows that the possibilities of having a quiz are, are very little. They're, they're not too possible. So once okay. again, could, may, and might are for possibilities. Could is the strongest. Second, you have may. And the last one, you have might. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, anybody else? Any other questions? Okay. Eduardo? Okay, good. Okay, then we have um, should have, that is when you're giving suggestions in past. How do you say hubieras hablado? You should have um, okay. spoken. Okay. Very good. So imagine that you go to a meeting and there are some things that you would like to mention. So the meeting takes place, but you don't say anything. You stay quiet. When you return to your house, you tell your husband or your wife, look, you know what? I didn't want to uh, make things worse, so I stayed quiet. So your wife or your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, they tell you, hubieras hablado. You should have spoken. Is, is the example clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. All right, so listen to this. I'm going to share with you uh, a page with different scenarios. And for each scenario, you have to use the different structures that we have used um, so far. 
Let me. So let me write it. A uh, model plus have plus past participle. Um, do you guys see the 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 sentence in the chat? Yes. yes. Okay. So remember, it doesn't matter if you're using should, must, might, uh, would. It doesn't matter which one you're using. The sentence will have always the same structure. What structure? The one that I'm showing you right now. The one that it says model plus have plus past participle. Now remember that native speakers, every time they speak, they always make a contraction of model plus have. So what is the contraction of must have? Must have. Must have. Must have. Could have? Could have. Could have. Could have. Could have. What about would have? Would have. Would have. Would have. So you say could have, must have, uh, might have, would have. But the, the idea is that you always use contractions when you're speaking. Okay, are the instructions clear? Yes, dear. Yes. All right, let me take a picture. Do you see the, the image in the, in the screen? Yes. Okay, if you want to take a, a screenshot, that is fine with me. Okay, so we go here. Let me see. ¿Cómo es que decís? Okay, we share, what's up? Okay, it's going right now. So what happens when you arrive late to your house and you did not call? Your family gets worried. And what is the first thing they tell you when you arrive? What, what does your family tell you if you arrive late and you did not call? <laughs> huh? You you must we have were afraid about you. you. Okay, we were afraid about you. You should have called. Must you could have, have called. called. You must have called. Okay, did everybody receive the image in the chat? Yes. Okay, yes. so let me make the Okay, we got 11 people going to make five groups, five pairs actually, and here we go.
todos. Entonces, um, we have to use, for example, en español sería, él debió haber guardado un secreto. That's one possibility. Uh -huh. Oh, he should have saved the secret. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. He should have saved the secret. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. okay. How do you say, no le hubieras contado? You shouldn't you have tell, told no. him. Told him. Anybody. Yes. You shouldn't have told him. Uh -huh. Good. Very good. Okay. Well, uh, let me see. I, 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 the last topic I, 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 I saw the, in, the, in my last uh, class uh, two years, geez, three years ago. This topic. This topic. Okay. Yeah. So you remember all the information that we have been sharing? Yeah, but the problem is that it's, it's a complicated because I remember something, things, no, no, all of them. Okay. All right. But it's, a, it's refreshed my mind. <laughs> good, good, very good. Yeah. So, everybody. Everybody. Okay. And the number two. I'm sorry, I should add on. I'm... Uh, teacher, just just one question, just to, sure. you, to get sure. clear. Um, sure. We're gonna to, to to transform this sentence, right? Right. So you have the the scenario. You have the situation. Yes. So like the first one, I told my brother a secret and he yeah. told everybody. Yeah. So um, the person that is listening to you is going to tell you um, he should have kept uh, the, secret. the secret only for him. Or this person, mm -hmm. the one listening to you, can also tell you you shouldn't have told him uh, your secret. Yeah. All right. Right. So yeah, all, all you need to do is just analyze the scenario and give an answer with the past model. Yeah, ba ba based on the scenario. Right, yeah. right. Then, then, then we're, 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 we're doing pretty good. Okay, so good, good. Okay. Nice. Okay, so number two said, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I sh that movie. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. I'm not sure if should, should not. <laughs> Or I'm sorry. Oh, cool. uh, okay. Which, which which one are you doing? I it, uh, um, uh, I watched an, an I horror, watch movie. horror movie. Okay. So we I couldn't sleep sure that night. Or uh -huh. Okay. So so what is the complete sentence? Uh, you should I not have seen that movie okay you shouldn't <laughs> have seen that movie yes or you shouldn't yeah. have watched that movie it's correct and okay. uh, we're not sure uh we she left no yes she left home late there was a lot of traffic she was late for work okay we we say that spanish ella se debió levantar más temprano but we, right we come from Okay, she should have, she should have woken up earlier. Okay. Or oh, she should, she should have left earlier. Exactly. She should have left early. That's another suggestion. Is yes, is earlier. Earlier or early too, okay. early too. Uh, mm -hmm. The two options are good. You can say early or you can say earlier. Okay. okay. Yes, that's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, I prepare an important left, left home late. Yes. Ella no debió haber salido tarde. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or she should yes, possibly. Uh, left home early. She mm -hmm. should have left home early. The opposite. Mm -hmm. 
What do both, you think? Both are uh, yeah. uh, acceptable, I think. Yeah. What the, do you think? The sentences are good. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Okay. Well, the other one you didn't, didn't text. Mm -hmm. I was. And yeah. I pre yeah, it's a, I prefer to download and and I can see anyway, anytime. And and, and, and the problem the, the Netflix is uh, only you can watch a, a movies uh, all movies is <laughs> it is almost doesn't have a, a new movies that okay. is a problem and i could know what that applic application is in the it's a it's a it's a page in, in, in web page is a pelispedia and you can use a, a uh, application to to convert the 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 video and you download about it you can convert to torrent file okay and the application is a pay or free it is it's free it's free the reason may be that i didn't lock lock it up I should have. I should have locked up my bike. Lock up. Yeah, locked up. My bike. Locked up my bike. Yeah. The next one. Uh, I didn't study last night, and I decide to watch TV instead, so I failed. So this one can can goes like um, I should have. I should have study. Uh, you should have locked it up or no. Se la robaron igual tu que debió. Se la robaron. Mm -hmm. Bye, teacher. So, so what is the sentence in that situation? My bike was stolen. The reason may be that I didn't lock it up. Yeah. Oh, we were talking about he el debió him maybe. Uh huh. He must have locked it. He must have. He must have. He must have locked it. Good. Must, must, yeah. what? He must have locked it. He must. Must have. have must have locked it. Must have locked it. Debió haber echado llave. And and can I say I can't believe you could could not have. I don't know. Lock it up. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Yes, you can. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Mm. I spent all my money in cosmetics. Makeup. And in cosmetics. And just, um, and, and cosmetics. And just, now I am broke. And cosmetics and shoes and... Well, I... Should lock it up, I think. Lock it up. Lock it. Well, lock uh, it we up. don't have to pronounce it instead it. <laughs> yep. Um, well, the next one.
uh, more important things. <laughs> right. Mm. Most. Mm. Which one are you doing? I I must I must, but a uh, teacher in the um, negative must. Mustn't. Mustn't have. I mustn't have spent all my money in cosmetics. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. So I mustn't, I mustn't have spent, spent, yep. spent. I mustn't spend. have spent all my money in cosmetics. Exactly. Yes. My goodness, mm -hmm. women. <laughs> it's difficult to me the pronunciation of, of must have, yes, mustn't, 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 I can say that, <laughs> mustn't, have. mustn't, have. mustn't have, now at the beginning, like if, if, if this is something that you haven't practiced that much, at the beginning you can go word by word, must not have, must not have, yes. then you practice with mustn't have, mustn't have, and then uh, gringos, they always use, uh, <laughs> sometimes they use double contraction. Must not have, they say everything in one word. And they say he must enough. enough. Must enough. Must enough, yes. Mm. Must <laughs> enough. Oh, no. Yep. M maybe the next, the next level, the next <laughs> model. Yeah. No, uh, sorry, I, I have a question about the next uh, mm -hmm. course. It yes. will be in this intermediate two or what? Yeah, intermediate two. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Have you sent all your paperwork, all your documents? I yeah. haven't uh, sent it, but I will send today, I think. Okay. So now that you're doing um, this um, via, uh, like, like the way we're doing it right now, Human resources doesn't have to sign or stamp anything, do they? Oh. So you, you guys do all do you guys do all the process? You need what pro, uh, what papers you need to present? Mm, yes, let me see. Human resources send an email with a page to fill it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, in a in a regular month, let's. Oh, but this is your first time here. Yes. All right. All right. Never mind. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. What about the grade or note? Uh, which grade? Um, we have a grade for that. Uh, for this level or not? Yes, this you do. Yes, you do. Okay. When you when you finish the, the platform. Yeah, the platform is going to give you a grade. <laughs> I finished today. Okay, oh. and what number did you get? Congratulations. Number five. Five? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. that's not possible. Because if it is, that means that maybe you left some assignments blank. And you need to no. have at least 8.0. So a five is not possible. No, no. Uh, to the five assignment. Uh, unit five, are you talking? Um, item one, two, three, four, five. Okay, unit, unit <laughs> five. <laughs> unit, unit five. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I finish my unit five today. Okay. With the... Final the exam. exam, yes. Okay, and what was so, your score? To this exam. Uh, in general. Um, I don't, I, I didn't. You didn't check it. Yes, I don't know where. Okay, so you should go back. Yes. Because when you finish the, uh, the assignments that the platform has, automatically they give you a grade 
uh, at the platform. In the platform, in the platform. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I didn't watch. Yeah. So try to go back maybe later on yes. tomorrow and look for yes. the grade that the, the platform gave you. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. All right, good. It's my first time. All right. Okay. Uh, when the last year is a is a the, the the last time to I went to Guatemala, but uh, I I have uh, I meet uh, 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 other people. Uh, other people give me I I I tested the, the coffee the Costa Rica Guatemala Salvador and Nicaragua. Which places would you like to visit um, again after the quarantine in, in, in Guatemala or Costa Rica or in Salvador too? <laughs> yeah, no, on the, the fear is El Salvador because it's, uh, we need to uh, uh, something like a, a mountain or is not to stay in hot uh, at home forever. Okay. <laughs> okay. We, we, we need to, to go to the mountain or the beach is a uh, is all people. When the quarantine finishes, all people. When we go. I saw a classmate sharing an exam. Mm -hmm. I told the teacher. My classmate told me off, off, and I felt terrible. Teacher, yes. In in the you borrowed my laptop, and now it doesn't work. Uh huh. Um, is you you should have borrowed my computer or okay you shouldn't have uh -huh. borrowed my computer mm -hmm. or you should have been more responsible you should have been more so responsible has been responsible ah, you, uh -huh. sido más responsable. you should have been more responsible uh, it's que, que, Sorry, but I don't understand the sentences. Is yo te presté mi computadora uh -huh. y ahora no funciona o uh -huh. tú prestaste mi tú computadora prestaste mi y computadora. ahora no funciona. Okay, usted pidió prestada mi computadora. Um, Do you remember oh, the difference? You borrow it. You. <laughs> yeah, borrow is when you ask for something. Can I borrow twenty dollars? Can I borrow your book? Can I borrow your car? I need something. It's like, tú me prestaste a mí mi computadora. Uh -huh. Me pediste like... prestado. Me pediste prestado. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. So borrow means pedir prestado. Mm, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's return to the main session. Okay. All right. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes. No. Okay. Um, maybe you were able to finish. Maybe you were halfway. Maybe you were doing number six, number seven. Um, I have a question. Yes, ask me. Um, we can use must and should uh, for past action in the same way both sure but the message is different uh so imagine that uh let's say today if your dewey has if your dewey finishes with number three and four <laughs> you have permission to go outside but imagine yes. your dewey finishes in number two and you still went to the supermarket and the police stopped you so you're saying to yourself I must have stayed home. Debía haberme quedado en casa. 
Now, if you say, I should have stayed home, me hubiera quedado en casa. In that case, the message is exactly the same, but must is more serious. So you can say, I must have stayed home or you should have stayed home. The message is the same, but once again, must is more serious. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. but you can use it in the same area, like when you're telling somebody what to do. Mm, okay, okay, thanks. Yes. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? No. No? <laughs> All right, so we're going to stop here. Thank you very much for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. <laughs> okay, good night. All right, good have day. a good night. Bye-bye.